Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In this bonus lesson, I want to share uh, one of the questions that uh, a student has asked me. So let me just bring the conversation in. So Jason messaged me a day ago and said, hey, can you uh, give me some tips about uh, managing my code? Uh, using git all right so i'm just going to give you a summary of what uh, the request is so i think uh, git is really important so if you are starting out as a developer git might be uh, might be quite foreign to you and i think that it's really important that um, you should know some basics and the reason is because as a junior developer you're going to mess up many times and the thing is that in order to learn you need to mess up and fix it right so you're not going to write perfect code the first time you you have to mess up many many times and being able to uh, uh, not feel too crappy when you fail and that's why version control is there to help you all right so in this video i want to just uh, show you a quick exercise on git and what are the very fundamental uh, skill sets that you need to have so that you know you can save yourself if let's say you're coding halfway and your computer just fails you know your computer your computer just reset uh, for some for some reason and when you turn it back on you realize you cannot compile the project and you don't have a version control and then that that's really sad and 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 you know yeah so without further ado i'm just going to um just show you a very simple demo so i'm going to just uh, create a new xcode project and then let's go with uh, app and then let's do git demo 2 because i've already had one previously and then i'm going to hit the next button and then i'm just going to save this on my desktop all right guys so over here i am just going to build this first let's select the iphone 8 plus because i like it nice and big okay so the first thing to do is that we have to initialize uh, the project folder as a git repository okay so there are a couple of ways you can do that you can do that via the command prompt all right so let me show you to you what i mean by that so i'm I, i'm opening my terminal over here so you can do uh, like that you can do uh, okay so how do you check whether uh, this uh, folder is already a git repository is when you type in git status and you realize that uh, the message will say that this is not a git repo not sure not sure why it's taking so long to run this all right so it says it's not a git repository okay so the way to initialize this repository uh, sorry this folder as a git repo is to do git init okay so this is the first way you can do it but uh you can also do it via xcode so you can come over source control and just say new git repositories okay and then you can just hit the create button all right so now that uh we have set this uh repository as a git repo so when i come back to the terminal again and when i do git status i'm not going to get the same message over here all right so in fact i'm going to see something over here it says on main branch nothing to commit working tree is clean all right guys so on xcode you can also keep track of this change by coming over here i think <laughs> i think it's the second icon over here it says source control navigator so if you click on this and you expand this and you come under branch you have the main branch okay so again if i open up terminal and i type git branch it will tell you that i'm on the main branch okay so it looks like now they have renamed this from master to main okay maybe it's the black lives matter all right so we don't want to have any inference to master or slave or anything like that which is cool okay so now i want to maybe uh add some changes okay so maybe let's come to the main.storyboard and i want to change this color to let's say um let's see let's change this to maybe yellow okay so i want to keep track of this change okay so the way i'm going to do it is um, i can go to source control let's go to commit and then under the commit message okay so before that before you hit the commit message uh this panel will show you what are the changes uh that is happening okay so this is a bit like a git diff all right so um so this is basically the changes that's happening in this xml file within the main.storyboard it's not very readable so that's the problem when you use the storyboard so you notice that um these are the changes so what i can do is that i can just click on this uh a check mark to say that hey i want to commit i want to commit the changes from this main.storyboard and so let's let's add the change description so um, um change 
a view to yellow color okay so let's hit the commit one uh, one file so you notice over here we have uh, the, a new commit over here that says change view to yellow color so we are currently over here so let's say let's come back to the main.storyboard again and let's uh, maybe let's bring in let's bring in a button okay just a button and let's bring in a button in the middle okay and then let's uh, align this in the middle so maybe let me just do it this way oops Okay, let me just align this in the middle, horizontal and vertically. Okay, so now we want to commit this change. So again, we can come to source control under commit. Okay, you notice that there's a change in the uh, storyboard again. So let's make sure that we check this. And then um, let's say add, uh, add button to view something like that okay so i mean type in something that's sensible to you all right so let's hit the one file commit uh, sorry commit one file so you notice that there's an update to this uh, history over here it says add button to view okay so now when i hit the play button and i run this on uh, the simulator notice that i have the yellow uh, view and the button over here so let's say for example if i want to okay i want to revert back to the state before i have the button so what i can do is that i can come over here just right click and just check out all right so if i want to view uh, what was the code change oh sorry i want to view what was the state like i can just come over here and just do a checkout so you notice that when i hit the checkout button and if i come over here to this uh, navigator it should say that i am on this uh you you'll see this uh identify over here so this tells us that uh, we are on the this branch itself okay this is the identifier for the sorry not the branch identifier for the commit message okay so as you can see over here this is the d956fc1 so this should be reflected here all right so if i hit the play button again this time i will not see the button all right so let's say i want to go back to my latest uh, changes i can come back to the main and just do a checkout okay so once i check out i don't see that bracket over here so if i hit the play button again um i will see the button over here all right so now for the next change i want to maybe uh connect the button to my view controller so let me just uh, come to the view controller and let me just create a button over here an ib outlet ib outlet with var uh, button this will be of type UI button exclamation mark. Okay, so let's come over here to the main.storyboard and let's connect that. So right click and then let's see where my button is. So let's click on this button and then maybe I'm going to add some code change over here. So let's call this a configure a button maybe. All right, so let's create a function here. So private fun configure button and let's say we want to assign uh, the button a background color of uh, green maybe and then we want uh, the text can we do it set title color yeah let's have this as white for the normal state okay so i'm going to just uh, hit the play button and then let's see so oh okay it looks kind of ugly maybe let's set this to black instead okay and then let's hit the play button all right, so obviously I made a change over here. So I want to commit this change, okay? So let's come over to source control commit. And uh, now you notice that there are two things that have changed, okay? So one, there are some changes on the main.storyboard. And why is that? That's because we connected the IB outlet. All right, so again, this code is not really readable. All right, so that's the problem sometimes if you use the storyboard. So as you can see over here in the view controller, we added some changes as well. So uh, we added this change and we added this change as well so if i am to type in those things over here and hit the commit message i would have committed all these two changes over here so what this means is that you can also decide that you know you don't want to commit this view controller first all right so maybe you can say something like uh, a connected ib ib outlets ib outlets for buttons you know you can do something like that hit the hit the one commit message and then you notice that if you come over here and you hit the commit button again uh, well, we still have this uh, file that has changed so maybe we can do um, configure button appearance something like that okay so let's hit commit one file 
All right, guys, so I want to show you something quite cool over here. So this is a bit more uh, advanced. So for example, if you want to combine these two um, commit message together, you can do that. All right, so let's let's assume that we want to combine these two uh, commit message together and we want to name this as um, setup button views. Okay, so the way that I would do it is via the terminal. Okay, and the command to do that is git rebase dash i hit and then because I want to merge these two commits, I'm going to put two. Two means one and two. So if I want to merge all three, then I will change this to three. But in the meantime, I'm going to set this as two. All right, guys, so this is advanced stuff. You, you might not really need to uh, know this now as a beginner, but you know, when you start working in a big company and you have hundreds of developers working on a single code base, then you will probably use something called git rebase a lot. All right, so I'm going to show you how we can do that. So I'm going to hit the enter button. And then you notice over here, there is this two commit messages over here. So what I need to do is to hit the I button and then come over here and do a squash, hit the escape button, do a semicolon and do a WQ and an exclamation mark. All right, again, this is a bit more advanced, so you don't have to really, really know this until you join a big organization and someone there is probably going to teach you how to do this anyway. All right, hit the enter button. And then now I want to select a new commit message for this two uh, commits over here all right so i'm gonna do uh whoops i'm going to uh, i need to hit the i button so that i'm on edit mode so let me come back again hit the i button on the keyboard and then you see that there's this insert over here so i do a pow space so basically this is to say that hey i want to comment this out comment as in c-o-m-m-e-n-t and now i'm going to type in my new commit message out uh, let's call this uh, update uh update button appearance uh, update button uh, color and background for example okay and then let's hit the escape button do a, a semicolon and do wq again and just hit the enter button all right so now something is going to change over here i don't think it's uh it's showing up yet but it should change okay so let me do git status uh sorry not, not git status let's do git log Okay, and hit the enter button and I should see all the different commits that I have over here. All right, so initial commit, change color to yellow, add button. And then you notice that uh, the difference over here. So add button is this guy over here. Change view to yellow color is this guy over here. Initial commit is this guy over here. But you realize that I have something called update button color and BG. All right, so it, so basically Xcode, Xcode has yet to, up, to update this. So, you know, sometimes it's like that. So if I am to close this, Okay, and if I'm to reopen it again, okay, this one. So if this is updated, you notice that, yay, the the uh, the commits have been merged already. Okay, so again, if I want to uh, go, okay, if, if let's say, um, okay, what else to, to, to teach you? Okay, so for example, okay, the last thing, okay. So if let's say I have, um, I go to the view controller and I did a couple of things, let's say I, uh, let's say set up views over here <clears throat> and then I do view dot background color equals to red for example okay let's let's imagine you did a bunch of stuff and then you're like wow this is uh, this is awesome and then you go to your colleague and then your colleague is like this is crap please please undo everything okay so if let so over here it's easy because this is one file but you can imagine if there are 10 files that you have modified you know you have to go to those 10 files and, and, and undo everything, which can, be a, which can be a bit of a pain, right? And uh, so, so one way to, to, to discard all your changes is to come over here to, to source a control and just hit the discard all changes, all right? So when I do that, I will be uh, prompted to confirm. So when I hit the discard button, it will undo all the changes that I've done, which I have not committed. And basically what it means is that I am at this current state over here all right guys i hope that this video is helpful i'm not a good expert but i i these are the tools that i i use for my own professional work and i hope that this video is helpful all right see you cheers bye